uh, six lessons on entitlement. One, to the guy who slid under the bar stool next to me while I cleaned my glasses and said, hey, you're actually attractive without those on. <laughs> Guess what? You're still not attractive without <laughs> these on. Even with blurred vision, your haughty approach and unwanted appraisal repulses me, so tell me, how does it feel to be rejected by an ugly girl? <laughs> Two, to the guy at the market who asked me if I wanted to have a drink after he finished work, my timidity caused me to say no. But when you turned without hesitation to my friend and said, what about you then? It left me wondering how many insecure women you've peeled, ripping their rinds just to leave them sodden and street side free. To every guy who claimed they couldn't, just couldn't help shouting their snaked compliments, imagine if I couldn't help punching you in the face. I didn't wear this lace lined mini skirt for you, but I guarantee if I ever wear a dress that weeps to the floor because I consider my skin unspeakable and my body disgraceful, that is for you. For to every guy who has ever remarked upon my slenderness, smallness, tininess, you say this as if it is a compliment, but your rapacious stare tells me I'm just a target. I don't know who taught you to crave fragility, but your touch will not tear me. Your exhales will not sway me. Even butterflies and blossoms will stand assault without withering, and I am a hundred times their size. Five, to the guy who snapped, why not? like a slap across my face when I told him I didn't take birth control, insulted at this injustice against his gratification as if it were my duty to be protected so he didn't have to. I am not a warehouse for your mess and mistakes and manipulations. No amount of will bind me to a bed that'll turn into a battleground six. To the guy next to me on the empty train who put his feet on the seat before him like a prison gate and asked me if he could guess my weight with his tongue. I understand why a deer forgets to escape the headlights. You caught me forsaken by fight and flight and left with only humiliation and fear, wishing I could disappear like smoke instead of climbing over the chair, crawling to a corner where your thoughts couldn't find me, hoping someday the lust in someone's eyes suffocates your skin with a dirtiness you can't scrub off, that you feel acid ambush your tongue when footsteps trample the shadows behind you, known statistics, genetics, police are not on your side, hating your trembling hands and salt burn eyes, your softness your less than status, your accessibility. I hope their words reverberate in your wardrobe, that their derisive laughter saturates your psyche. <coughs> you have the luxury of leaving the fear of the dark in your childhood while welcome to womanhood. The terror here is not imaginary. The world just pretends it is, a bruise covered by makeup and sprayed with perfume, a scream reduced to a whisper. So cross your legs. Keep your mouth shut, smile like a good girl, and accept the compliment. Um, you know, the, well, you'll see. It's called heat lightning. Tonight, we will split the sky like the first lightning strikes of summer. Memories suspended, precautions paused, I want you exposed. A mollusk discarding his shell, a suckling seeking the sea. Let's celebrate our solstice bodies, ripe as sunlight, raw as moonshine, all bite and brine, my synapses saturated by your typhoon touch. You're stung by my jellyfish tongue. Together, we swell like waves collapsing into cliffs. Erosion is just another kind of evolution of exfoliation. Don't stop until I'm down to dust, soft as sand. Sift me through your hands and I'll disperse back into anonymity. I won't wonder why you don't call, but I'll readily touch where you resonate, like a conch shell cradle to my ear, whispering. Thank you guys.